Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Gravity Crash Ultra by Just Add Water. Gravity Crash was always one of those things that I liked a lot, but I couldn't play it for more than 10 to 15 minutes without getting bored. It's kind of odd that way. I, um, I have a few games like that where I just like to play them and then I just get bored 10 minutes and put it down, don't come back to them for a while. But anyway, this is Gravity Crash Ultra and I just want to show this off without actually getting bored of it. So. Audio settings, sound effect and music volume. There's not that many more options here, unfortunately. I'd like to be able to customize the control set a little bit, especially since we've got a lot of buns on the Vita, but apparently that's not in here. Let's we'll go and have a look at the credits real quick. Yup, it's about as expected. Just Add Water are also the people developing uh, Oddworld New and Tasty. They already released the PS4 version, and the Vita version is coming sometime soon. So let's just take a quick look around. We've got the manual. Tells you pretty much everything you need to know. We got online leaderboards. Mainly for the campaign, but there are high scores for other things, I think. Let's just have a look. Yep, just high scores for different planets. The high scores in the campaign mode work kind of weirdly. You start out with three lives at the beginning of the campaign, and you can go through the campaign as far as you like, but if you run out of lives and need to continue, your score will drop to zero. So... You want, if you want to get the highest score, go from the beginning, get to the end, don't lose all your lives. Admittedly, I kind of like it. It implies a bit of skill required in this game, even if you're playing the really, really easy mode. Uh, we've got a level editor here, and the good thing is this actually allows you to share levels online. So, if, if you just look at this, you can see that everything works. We'll just test the level real quick. I'll explain all that in a moment, but... Yeah, as you can see, works about as well as you'd expect. But let's actually go and play the actual game. We're going to go into planet mode, but as I said before, there is a campaign mode. It You are required to go through the planets, well, roughly in order. You unlock like three planets at a time and every one you finish unlocks a new one. And you go through the planets and then you go to the... You go through the planets and you go through all six levels of each planet and then you unlock the next system, yada, 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 yada. And you can also start a new game, as I said before, to help you with the, with the high scoring. And you can also come here and play user levels, so we'll just pick a couple of things at random here. I'll explain them in a moment. Uh, so we can check the highest rated users, the most recent users. We can even check our friends or we can enter an online ID. I would prefer just an outright browser of levels that you could sort specific things by without having to check these or all these things like this. But we'll just go and have a look at a random level just to see what it's like. And then I promise I'll go to planet mode and I'll actually explain what the game's about. This is gonna, just going to take a little bit. Nothing too major. Really shouldn't be doing this. I recorded my, um, my three hour long video yesterday and my throat's still sore from it. <laughs> I really shouldn't be recording this video. Why the hell is this taking so long? Oh, well, this worked when I tested it, so hopefully they'll f have that fixed up by the time the game finishes. Up and is released next week. So, we have three different types of craft. This one here, Anti-Grav, basically this makes the game play like a twin-stick shooter of old. The game, the craft just hovers in the air and it'll just stay there. You'll have nothing to worry about. This one here, it's the same thing, but you'll be affected by gravity, so you have to work your way around the... You have to work your way around actual places while worrying about gravity at the same time. And this one here, Classic Controls, it replaces the twin stick with just move left and right and thrust and off you go. I'm going to go with the one in the middle because it's actually a challenge, because if you go with any grab controls, it makes the game really, really easy. At least with dual, with dual stick controls, you have a little bit of challenge. You can also t choose whether to turn your shields on automatically or manually. If you turn them on automatically, you won't be able to recharge them without using energy crystals, but the shield will come on and won't kill you in one shot. And on manual, you turn it on automatically, but you get slowly recharging shields. I'm going to go with automatic because I don't trust myself in the middle of commentary not to, to be able to turn on the shields. We've got four different types of special weapons, a plasma ball, a drone, an EMP, and lightning. I prefer the lightning, so we're going to go with lightning, but they all have their own different effects. So we're going to go to the second planet, and we're going to play this level, because why not? We're given an objective, a recommended time, and a few crystals to go and collect. So now that we're here, we can play. 
the game controls much as you'd expect, at least with this control scheme. You use the left stick to move, and you use the right stick to fire your gun in any direction you please. If you're in the classic controls, you have to use the... You, ha you have to use the, um, the X button to fire, and you can only fire in the direction that you're facing, so... That makes the game very difficult very fast. And it's actually kind of a challenge. It's actually it's actually where most of the challenge in this game is, is figuring out how the control sets work and using them. Like, in dual stick mode, obviously, there's, like, no challenge whatsoever. Whatsoever, especially if you have a... In well, if you have the anti-grab thing, there's, like, next to no challenge. That's what I'm trying to say. There are little doors you can unlock, and we have our little objective up in the top right there, so we have to fly around this very expansive level and attempt to find all the all, all of these objectives and beat the crap out of them, basically. Those yellow crystals we're blowing out of the wall give us extra fuel and shield. We need to try and keep our fuel up. If we run out of fuel, we have about 10 seconds to get more before our ship just explodes on us. There are a few different types of enemies. I'm not that far in the game yet. I've played this for about an hour at this point. So there aren't that many enemy types at the moment, but there's still a fair few, and I imagine it gets a lot harder as time goes on. Where the bloody hell are these things, anyway? So you just fly around these levels looking for... Looking for things to shoot, shooting things. There's one of them. Looking for things to shoot and shooting them, that's basically half this game, really. You can also go looking around for crew members. If I see one, I'll let you know, but some levels don't have them. Where you can just pick them up for bonus points, obviously. And then there's uh, artifacts, and if you collect all of them, I believe they unlock a bonus level. I think I haven't found all of one set yet, so I couldn't tell you. So that was one of the factories that we need to remove. Let's use our special weapon. That was a lightning shot. So it goes and hurts everything within a specific range of Pretty much every you, you get the it chains off enemies so it goes on one enemy and then it might chain off or it might stick to that one enemy and yeah there are a few different weapons there are homing missile clusters and it's it's mainly a matter of personal preference they're all about as effective as each other so pick whatever one you like it doesn't really matter I wish there were different leaderboards for different campaigns with the different control types because it really feels like that Oh yeah, I, got, I picked up a special weapon, so yeah, I get um, I get cluster shots now. Let me, come on, damn it, no, no, no! Thank God, just gotta wait for this to rotate all the way. Okay, so there's another one of our factories. Let's just beat the crap out of these mines. Make sure I don't run into anything and lose more shield. I really wish there was a more difficult um. A better leaderboard for the other types of controls because seriously it is much harder even just taking out the anti-gravity controls alone let alone playing on the classic controls in comparison to having the anti-grab ones on because the anti-grab one just turns this into your classic twin stick shooter and this makes it fairly difficult to control especially high speed And there are some levels where it's really easy to get lost. I wish I could pull up that map down in the bottom right there. I wish I could pull that up. So I could just see a more expanded view of the level and where exactly I haven't gone yet. It's kind of annoying that I can't. Lightning. Because now I have no freaking clue where the rest of the factories are. And it's going to be kind of annoying trying to find them. And the game does get very repetitive, especially if you play it for longer than, say, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour. Because it is basically just this. You're wandering around these gigantic levels trying to find enemies and find things to shoot. And there's not that much else to it. I mean, they do keep a fair amount of extra, like, gameplay mechanics in there. So you definitely, no, yeah, destroy... Two more of them. They do keep adding mechanics in over time and all that, so... 
It does stay at least engaging for a little bit, but I can't imagine playing this for longer than a few minutes at a time. It is fun, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's just this weird thing that this game tends to have. I, I don't see it very often. Where a game can be perfectly fun and enjoyable, it just... It's bloody annoying to play for more than a few minutes. The missions themselves are usually fairly short. I'm just retarded, so I can't navigate this properly, but... <laughs> Good lord. I I'm just going around in a big circle. I don't even know where the last two are. Oh, that's not good. Thankfully, you can also use the D-pad if you... Well, oh, you can't use the D-pad. You can't use the D-pad to thrust? Huh. That's weird. I've been using the analog stick this entire time, so I didn't notice you couldn't use the thrust. And there is a fair bit of challenge trying to stay alive when you have really low health and everything is trying to kill you. That didn't end well for me. Yep, hope, thankfully you respawn fairly quickly. Special weapon over here, I may want to try and grab that. No, uh, yeah, that was actually a special weapon. It's a special weapon recharge. You only get a few of those every time, yeah. Okay, so if I just... Whoops. Hang on, I just need to land here. Come on, guys. Thank you. Now we just need to take this thing out. Damn it. Just gotta float here, try and avoid the bullets. There is fun and challenge in this game, it's just... It does get... As I said before, like, three times already, this game does get fairly samey after a while. Like, I've been playing this for seven minutes, I'm starting to get it. It's starting, It was feeling samey, like, two, three minutes ago, so... Okay, so that's number three. Now the question is, where's number four? Let's we'll deactivate that laser so we can leave. Whoopsie doodle. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you, God, for that. Where is number three? Whoop, no. Whoop, 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 whoop. whoop. Bollocks. <laughs> as, yeah, as I said before, it, it is pretty easy to get lost, especially since you can't expand that map. So you have to kind of try and figure out where you haven't gone just by purely looking at that tiny-ass map and seeing where you haven't gone yet, because there's a ton of pickups still lying around. As you can see, my score's been slowly going upwards in the top right there, for all the things I destroy, so... If you're going for a high score, it is a bit of a risk-reward thing, but if you're aiming to finish the game, avoiding most of this stuff is actually a fairly common thing to do. I'm just trying to finish this without actually, you know, dying again, because I don't have any lives left. Lightning! Oh, there's the last one! There's the last one! There we go. Now we just have to find the wormhole and we can leave. Ow. I better get some more shield while I'm here. Just to, oh, no, never mind. The wormhole's right there. Didn't need to worry about it. So after eight minutes on a mission that could only really take four minutes 45 to complete, we completed it. And for some reason it connects to the server every time you finish the level. I don't know why it feels the need to do this, like, all the time, but... Whatever. So we'll go to Amorosk, because it actually has a boss. I can't... I can't remember if, um, Gravity Crash had bosses or not. The Gravity Crash Portable, I should say, had bosses or not. It's actually a shame that game got removed from the store, because, um... Because that game was actually used to activate, uh, VHBL. And, yeah, that kind of means your game is screwed. The game looks very pretty. Like, it, it's it's actually really, really good looking. It moves at 60 frames, like, all the bloody time. And it looks... It looks marvelous. Like, the, that, that effect that comes out of the back of the ship. I mean, oh well, god. Uh, that... That effect is fantastic. I love that effect. I don't know why, I just do. Now I just need to... Yeah, that was where I came from, wasn't it? I just need to figure out where I'm going next. Do I need to... I know there's probably a... Oh yeah, there it is. 
Oh, I'm running out of fuel. Oh, that's not good. Uh, better find some of those crystals real quick. Okay, down, 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 down. No, not good. Not very good. Not too good. Must find crystals. Must find crystals. There's some. Thank God. Okay, we're almost... We're almost at half fuel. Let's get some more. There we go. We'll just leave that crystal there because I feel like I'm probably going to need it. So what do I think of Gravity Crash Ultra? Well, that's a, that's a fair quite Well, God. Oh, no. Stop. I, I need to I need to land. Gravity, welcome me. Thank you. Gravity Crash Ultra is a fun little... Uh, I guess you'd call it a dogfighting game. I always liked Gravity Crash Portable and I kept it around for a fair bit. It was a, I thought it was always a fun game to play. Oh, I activated the node. That gives me a point bonus at the end of the stage. Ah, uh, access granted. So there must be... Must be another switch or something I have to hit around here somewhere for another access granted, probably. I, I do quite enjoy Gravity Crash a lot. It is a fun game to play and the addition of online level sharing does give the game some uh, an advantage in the fact that it's got a lot more replayability now but at the same time it's still as repetitive as it ever was i mean the game definitely does have a lot more challenge and is a, a fair bit more fun especially if you're playing as the if you're playing as as the ship that requires you to, you know, actually put some effort into your movement and dodging. I do appreciate that there's a super easy mode for people like me who just want to shoot shit. But at the same time, you know, it does make the game very dull. I gotta go and get that fuel and shield. I just hope I can get there in time. Thank God. That respawns. That's a bit odd. Give me all your fuel. But still, I do enjoy this game a lot. Oh god, lava. I do enjoy this game a lot, despite how repetitive it is, and... It, it is worth at least looking at. If there's a demo, go download the demo. Because I, I, I don't want to go giving people a game that they think, Oh, it's really hard because uh, the X control scheme is really hard, but X control scheme is really easy. Like, seriously, it really... The, the uh, easy control screen just... Sc screen? God, I can't talk today. Really just does turn into a twin stick shooter. And it really makes it... Like, oh god, there's the boss. This is interesting. God, I can't imagine how hard this boss it is to fight on, um... The classic controls. Because you actually have to be facing the boss in order to shoot it. So... Yeah. The bosses do indeed get interesting. Like, this is only the second boss. The first boss was actually an underwater boss. And I do... And underwater doesn't really change that game, this game very much, but... Oh, well. Is this the boss? you think it would be. I, I imagine it is. Considering it just blew up. I hope you blow your way in here, and I imagine... Oh, hello! New boss stage! That's interesting! Oh, never mind. It's gone. And the wormhole's right there. That was fun. So, my final opinion on... On Gravity Crash Ultra. It's a very fun, enjoyable game. It can be very easy or very hard, depending on how you want to play it. Unfortunately, there's no real in-between, but it can be... Yeah, again, it can be very easy or very hard. And I... I do think it's worth at least a look. I could play one... I'll play one more planet while in the classic control. Just to show you how that works. And I do, I do think it's worth a look. If it comes out for 10 bucks, 
sure. You've got not, don't have much to lose and the game's enjoyable as is. Just for those of you who don't want the game to be very, very easy, be sure you pick that specific control type right off the bat. Otherwise, you're really going to have a just a boring time. I do, I do like it. I do think it's worth at least a look at. God, I, I really can't stop mumbling today. I, I, I just got Street Fighter 4 and I'm just trying to get used to it. But anyway, 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 anyway. I'm going to play one more planet and I'm going to play it on the classic control scheme. No commentary, so you can just listen to the game. It has some really good music too. Uh, this has been Blue Maxima and I'll see you all next time.